Hello guys, welcome back. Welcome to Majestic Notion. So I have a special reading for you guys today. Alright, I have four cards before me. This is a pick a card. And I have four different types of connections. Okay, so pick the one you feel drawn to. Pick the connection you feel you have with someone. Whichever connection you're trying to gain some insight in. Okay, um... Card number one is Twin Flame. Alright. Card number two would be Karmic Soulmate. Lessons, hardships, um, toxic. Could be something toxic within that. A lesson to be learned there. Someone you have past life karma with. Okay. We have a Karmic Cycle. Friend, family, foe, or lover. This could also be, you know, some karmic energies around you, friendships that you've had, family members, whatever kind of connection. You know, if you're trying to find out something about a family member, a friend, or, you know, an ex-lover, or some sort of frenemy or enemy, hidden enemy around you, um, I would pick this one for those who want to know that. And for those of you who want to know about a high-level soulmate, this could be someone new. Or someone that has done a lot of work on themselves and has become a high-level soulmate okay so this is a collective pick a card for these types of connections so not everyone's gonna resonate of course they're general not personal so keep that in mind but we're gonna see what is transpiring in your connections whichever one you feel drawn to watch and what to look out for and we're gonna get you know your person's perspective on the connection okay and you know some of your perspective might come out here depending on what transpired between you and this particular person in your life and remember it can be past present or future it is thundering outside so and raining so excuse all the noise all right <laughs> so it'll make for interesting reading all right so I'll be paying attention to um, some omens here as well so, yes, uh, timestamps for each pile will be down below. This is a pick a card, and for some of you, you might resonate. Others of you, you might not. Some of you might be confused as well if you're dating a twin flame or if you had a twin flame in the past or maybe they were a karmic soulmate, okay? And, you know, maybe some of you want to know who's who between the twin flame or the high-level soulmate, depending on the storyline here. So, just remember... If it doesn't resonate, do not make it fit, okay? I'm going to stay true to the story when it comes to the twin flame, the karmic soulmate, the karmic cycle, and the high-level soulmate. So don't switch it around and say the high-level soulmate is the twin flame. No. It is what it is on the card, okay? So if it doesn't resonate with you, it doesn't resonate. Don't make the twin flame look like a karmic soulmate. Don't make the, the karmic soulmate look like a twin flame or a high level soulmate. That's why I'm doing these to separate that energy. Okay, I hope that's not confusing, but it won't be because when I do the readings, it's going to be true to the card before us. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. Not everyone's going to resonate, but I'm doing this to give you guys more clarity on what kind of connection you might have. And the way you find out is the way the storyline resonates for you, if it resonates, okay? All right, guys. So I'm going to give you a second to choose your card, and then we'll freestyle the reading. And um, again, timestamps will be below in the description box for each pile. Alright guys, so I will see you at the Twin Flame pile. That's what I'm going to start with, alright? See you on the flip side. Alright guys, hello. For those dealing with a Twin Flame, let's see what the message is today, okay? Let's see what we got going on. Between you and your twin, what is going on? What is the energy here? I'm hearing a song. I can't remember the name. It's an older song. You are my lover when I'm with you. 
There is no other da -da. The way you really turn me on I like the way I like the way you really turn me on Something like that Two more shuffles here, Spirit, for the collective when it comes to their twin flame. What is going on? Now, even if you have not met your twin, I can still pick up on your twin's energy because you are connected to them. And it means they're already in your energetic field. It means you're already dreaming about them. And it means um, some of you already are understanding that you do have a twin, okay? Some of you, this is somebody you're in separation with. So we're going to see who we pick up here. So keep that in mind. All right, Spirit, let's get this clear. All right. So I need you more than ever. Okay. Attraction. We do have caution. There's competition. Okay. So I feel that your twin is being cautious because they feel, because I'm doing this from their perspective, okay? They feel there is competition. They're very attracted to you. They need you more than ever, but they feel that there is competition. So you could be either the masculine or the feminine watching. Take it how it resonates. This will be your person's perspective, whether they're male or they're female, because I get female and male viewers okay so keep that in mind so someone here is being cautious because they fear there is competition okay um, so let's get a couple cards here One more shuffle spirit for the collective. All right. Let's see what else we got going on here. We have Queen. Radiates the regal feminine, uses her benevolent authority to protect others. Okay, so this could be the feminine. Um, divine feminine, okay, energy, whether it's male or female, it's the energy, okay. And we have shapeshifter, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything, okay. And I'm gonna take the light attribute on that. I do feel this is a feminine energy, you know. Uh, the feminine energy of a male or female. Yeah, bottom of the deck we have Seeker. Thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are. Okay. And I keep getting, look at the bottom here. I want to. Oh. Okay. Married. So I feel like somebody sees you, obviously, their twin flame as marriage material. So let's see what's happening here. Let's get into some tarot. So feminines, if you're watching and you don't resonate with this being your energy, um, this could be the masculine, you know, the, the male side or it's just not for you okay
speaking, meaning it could be a male's feminine energy or a woman's feminine energy here. Keep that in mind. All right, so let's see here. We have the Four of Wands. Okay, that is a Twin Flame card. It's also a marriage card. It's also a card of stability, home life, um, you know, in preparation for family life kind of thing, okay? We have the Seven of Wands. There could be some heavy attraction, but a little resistance. Somebody feels maybe perhaps that they would be... Um, what I'm getting here is somebody here feels that you would have people that would be against this connection and this person is already like ready to protect themselves is what I feel ready to defend themselves okay they're not alone the seven of wands speaks of spirit backing this person up they're not alone even if they look like they are okay because they have seven you know six stakes at them and they have the seventh one ready to throw back if they have to they they could also feel a little guarded because they feel that there is competition all right so this is someone that is attracted they see the potential in the connection but they are very cautious putting their guard down when it comes to their twin to you collective because they do fear there is competition here and they do not want to get hurt. We have the Page of Swords. This is somebody watching, doing research, okay, being cautious. And exactly, with the lovers here and competition, there is another connection here. Or another person in someone's, in, in their, in, you know, this person feels there is another person in your life yeah five of swords five of swords okay I feel this person feels whoever the competition is could be someone that is jealous okay they might fear that you have naysayers around you um, people gossiping, talking, talking bad about the connection, which would make sense with the Seven of Wands here. So your person feels like even if you were to come together, they almost feel like they would be attacked by the people around you. And if not straight on, they would feel they feel like they would talk about them because maybe they're different or they would talk about the connection. Um, in a negative way or that people are trying to sway you away trying to sabotage is what I'm getting here this person could also be I don't know they could have a lot of haters people hating on them talking shit about them gossiping about them I feel like somebody's under some sort of attack okay for just being who they are Okay, that's what I'm feeling. Yeah, we have the Fool. So definitely this is someone that wants to take a leap of faith. But again, it's like, do I put my guard down? Is it okay for me to put my guard down? Because they're not really sure. Alright, so there, there's a little bit of, um, I, I don't want to say paranoia, but concern about... Um, the connection there's a want yes but there's definitely concern and a bit of hesitation yeah we have the king of pentacles here Taurus Virgo Capricorn so like I said this could be um, the masculine in and the feminine energy is coming out okay or this is um, the feminine watching this king of pentacles with the page of swords here now for some of you because there is a competition here then the shadow aspect of this is becomes arrogant when authority is challenged controlling and demanding we do have the five of swords here so there could be someone trying to 
keep this person in their grasp. For some of you, this if we're talking about um, your twin could be married here or went through some sort of divorce. Um, with the Five of Swords being here and that energy being here, this is about control and demanding Five of Swords, a lot of conflict. They could be placing high demands on this King of Pentacles here. Um, shadow aspect of this is projecting any image that serves your personal agenda in the moment. So that's what I'm seeing with another lover here. That is in the mix. Okay. So, yes, this person is highly attractive. They have concerns about the connection. They have concerns that, you know, do you have people around you that would, you know, hate them? <laughs> I guess. Um, but I feel like that's because that's the energy that's surrounding this person um, due to somebody here. All right. But aside from that, let's get into this. Yeah with the moon I feel this this twin is trying to hide this other person from you but I feel like you know it's kind of hard to hide anything from your twin because you're connected you will dream about it okay so whatever they're trying to hide you're being shown in the dream state and that's why you're being uh, this person's being cautious okay I am feeling the energy of both of you here and that third person but I don't want to get into that third person I don't want them to overtake the reading but I'm getting here that somebody's trying to hide this is feminine energy as well with the moon here this is their emotional side you know so they're keeping things hidden they have their guard up okay so they're protecting their heart their emotions and they could be watching and it's because there are naysayers around them. There's another lover around them. And I'm also seeing that if your twin is in a karmic situation, you kind of, you're not competition because you are this person's twin, but that's how the person they're with sees you, okay, is as competition. But they're keeping this hidden. It's like a secret, Okay, let's see what else. We have the Empress. Yeah, somebody's definitely hating on the feminine energy here. Five of Swords, somebody hates on this person. And if this person is married, they're married to someone that is very controlling. Okay, is always putting demands on this person. Knight of Cups. Yeah, this is them wanting to court you and take a leap of faith here. Wanting to put their guard down to be able to come to you. But it's almost like their back is against the wall. I just feel like there's a lot of people here um, in their ear. And it's out of pure jealousy. Okay, but I do feel like um, definitely if this person is married, the person in their life... Um, there's so many arguments there over this even if they don't know that their wife or husband knows they do know they intuit it okay yeah there's betrayal here with the ten of swords so your your twin could be learning a major lesson right now all right and that's why they're being cautious so they could have already learned this lesson so this person is being self-protective because they went through a hard lesson here definitely with someone here so this could be other people then with the competition and the moon but they don't want you to know this yeah especially with the um, two of Pentacles being here So what I'm seeing is this person could have either went through a breakup, gotten a divorce, and they're dating other people here. There's a certain transition in between connections, okay? But they are protecting their energy. They're highly attracted, but it's almost like they don't quite want to put their guard down just yet because they went through something real heavy with the Ten of Swords here. 
yeah, we have the hangman. And I feel like you're being put on pause because of naysayers here, people standing in the way. And you might, you know. So they're trying to figure out what they're going to do here. Also, this person had to go through a spiritual awakening and see people for who they are here. So, if we're talking about this King of Pentacles, they do need you more than ever. I'm also getting that this person, because I'm I kind of getting both of your energies, but I'm getting that this person feels like perhaps you have someone, but they don't know about it with the moon. Okay, so take that how it resonates. I feel like you're both mirroring each other and worried about the same things. Okay? Especially because this King of Pentacles went through a betrayal. But I feel that you did as well. And it's hard to trust. And you're both thinking that there's other people involved in each other's lives. So definitely this person is being cautious and then you're also being cautious six of pentacles yeah they want to give and receive with you definitely they know there would be reciprocity here but i feel like they get in their head sometimes and you both could yeah they're gonna take it their time okay because of this betrayal this is like like i said i always see the knight of pentacles as somebody that goes through some major war here okay because it's a major lesson here with the betrayal and then they they got to move slowly as they're reflecting on what the hell just transpired there and um lick their wounds before they can you know feel better and and move forward into a new day here so that definitely there's a transitional phase here happening some transformation perhaps some awakening definitely analyzing you analyzing the connection analyzing what they've been through here and definitely watching okay for some of you they may feel like you know they betrayed you for being in this other situation or having other lovers in their life that could definitely be a thought here especially from this um, king of pentacles yeah you see ace of cups so somebody here is wondering do I keep my options open or do I go for it okay because we have lovers and competition with the moon so this is someone that I feel when they come to you it's all about you but right now they're moving slowly and cautiously because they're a little scared okay they have a little bit of a hard time trusting and you could both be in this energy of the trusting part you know obviously for a lot of feminines you're not out there dating just anybody for some of you yes not everybody so take that how it resonates so let's see yeah they want to follow their heart king of cups they do their intuition is telling them yes yeah they're thinking about this the hierophant okay they're thinking about the connection their feelings what they want to do here how they want to pursue and yeah there's something they have to walk away from and that's any anyone else they're entertaining yeah and they did learn a major lesson six of swords so this person was not emotionally fulfilled where they were all they got was conflict arguments and drama okay and betrayed here so that's why they're so cautious yeah and they've been holding back okay they've had their heart um, yeah they were overthinking yeah definitely yeah Whoever they were with, they felt bound to. They could have been younger or very immature. This is a page of wands with the eight of swords. Again, this is somebody that overthinks. A lot of inner conflict, drama, and I feel like they were betrayed here with competition. 
as well and that's where they're leaving an old part of themselves so there is change transformation and a death of an old situation yeah this is rebirth enlightenment transformation beautiful yeah look at that healing enlightenment healing transformation very good setting themselves free of this inner conflict yeah king king of wands takes action and they go after what they want and desire okay they're very passionate about you they could want to work collaborate with you here they see you as an earth angel okay they see you as someone balanced independent someone they can collaborate work with and you know make something beautiful happen here for sure okay this also speaks of the contract between you guys a spiritual contract here and I feel like they do like your you know they admire your wisdom here and you've definitely been hurt as well and you could be healing we have three of swords nine of wands four of swords or they are healing from a queen of swords energy that broke their heart here as well I could see that so let's keep going here let's see what else they want to say here you know if I'm just talking about you and them this person for some of you could have been Uh, for some of you could have been maybe talking about you spreading rumors about you um, they were conflicted when it came to you maybe they saw you as very stable and they felt stuck and um, they could have projected even if you didn't know about it um, they could have um, did I cut that you know for some of you they were they felt like you were like competition like they looked at you know as I'm getting when they were in their ego they looked at you like they, they were in competition maybe you were doing good for yourself because the Empress is sitting pretty and we do have the four of wands and I see a lot of jealousy here but now it's like I need you more than ever you know they were guarded they didn't want to take this leap of faith even though they were highly attracted they were really holding back how much they were attracted to you but they really want to charm you romance you and give to you and take a leap of faith one more shuffle and you know for some of you this person could have betrayed you And they're being cautious because they know you feel betrayed by them and um, they could have had you in competition they could have had uh, you know someone on the side secretly but they know no one compares to you yeah you're crushing on each other I'm also getting that you guys could be like you don't want to see them with anyone else and they don't want to see you with anyone else so there could be a lot of um, stubborn energy between the two of you as well <laughs> but you you have the ability to see things from other people's perspective but it might have took you guys a little while so there could be like a lot of triggering or there could have been between the two of you yeah I've been watching you on social media for months some of you years okay yeah there definitely was an ex-girlfriend ex-boyfriend for some of you um, they could have been your boyfriend for some time or girlfriend but I see there was an ex here for a lot of you I see there was a karmic situation here that they were stuck in and that was the jealous person so there's like two def very different scenarios here I wonder what excites you okay this person is very passionate okay 
every day I am more and more attracted to you. Is that even possible? Yeah. Yeah, I feel like there's people around this person that are jealous of you. Not now, bad timing. Okay, so there's something here that they're dealing with. With that seven of wands here. That is not allowing them to take that leap of faith quite just yet. Okay. Yeah, we have celibate. So for some of you, this person is celibate. You could be celibate. Now that, you know, we're no longer in a situation here. And they want to talk to you. So for a lot of you, this person could be celibate and they fear you have someone else. Okay. Bottom of the deck, yeah. There's a new cycle and new beginnings here. I wonder if you think of me. And if I told you how I felt, would the feelings be reciprocated? So that's what they're contemplating here. Because they're afraid that you have someone else. And for some of you, they could have been in an open relationship. Or they were in a connection because I see somebody here that got betrayed by an ex and um, they could have been faithful to and that person was like acting like they were in an open relationship. Others of you could be, you know, the other way around. If you consider them to be a player. All right, let's see what else we got here. I'm going to use my day at dawn of a new day uncharted water. Uncharted Waters deck. Your past lover wants you back. Now I see. So for some of you, that's the jealousy here. Okay? That there is, they fear there is competition. Okay? That's the five of swords. They do not want to see you with someone else. They feel you're still stuck on somebody here. Or that somebody here is still stuck on you and needs you more than ever. That's what I'm seeing. Okay? Now, for some of you, you're, you could your twin could be a past lover. Okay? But I'm seeing some jealousy here. Because they feel somebody else wants you. I never thought love could be felt before the introduction. You see? For some of you, this is a new person that's been watching you online. And that's what I'm saying. So it's different for all of you. Like I said in the beginning, some of you, your twin flame is already in your energy and you're dreaming about it, but you have not quite met this person yet. That's for some of you here. That's what that is here. And they're afraid that there's somebody else in your past. So this person is definitely watching you on social media. and Or if you have a platform, they could be following you there. Okay. But somehow, some way, somebody knows... For those of you where this is a new person, they're afraid that there's somebody in your past that is still stuck on you or that you might still be stuck on. Some of you, obviously, this could be your twin flame in the past wants you back. But I see it two ways here. Yeah, I'm no longer interested in this karmic situation. And that's what I was getting here. That's the betrayal here with the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles. They were stuck in a situation that was no good for them. So there is an X here, and so and there are celibate. All right. Yeah, and the karmic is jealous of you. So I tell you, if there's a karmic thing to it that um, you are connected to this person, and this is love with the Ace of Cups, and for some of you, this is a whole new beginning with some, with your twin that you have yet to really meet me physically okay 
but you guys are watching each other online and crushing on each other. <coughs> this is like um, one in a million kind of connection where you found your twin before you actually um, met them face to face. You found them online. And your intuition was guiding you guys for a while here. Like, damn, why do I feel so connected to this person? Why do I dream about them so much? There's, and it's not just dreams. There's like, the connection between a twin in the dream state is very surreal. It's very intense. It's very different than any connection you would feel with anyone else. And that would draw you to do all this research on the connection because it's something you, you just don't feel with anyone else. And that's what I'm seeing here. To people that found each other online, that happened to be twin flames. Others of you, it's your past person that wants you back. But for a lot of you, what I'm seeing is this twin fears that there is competition. And so does the karmic. She's been fearing that as well. Or, you know, whether the karmic was male or female, they're jealous of you. I mean, yeah, they're jealous of you. The person that was with your twin. So, even though I want to keep it between you and your twin, there's energies around the both of you. So that's what I was feeling. That would be why the Seven of Wands is here. It's like people not wanting to see you guys together. Okay, and there could be other, other types of people around this person that don't want to see you guys together. The karmic could be a friend, you know, but with the lovers here, definitely somebody that they were with yeah I swear I can feel you inside me that's another thing you will feel your twin okay a lot of um, sexual attraction here passion because especially when you've already like sealed the deal in the 5d in the dream state that passionate energy you will feel a surge of passion you will know when your twin is having sex or you know self-pleasuring you will feel it It's time to show face. Yeah. So they know it's time to show face. But right now they're being cautious. And they could be, you know, having a little drama here with some people. Especially some, some sort of ex here. I no longer see myself without your beautiful soul and face by my side. Okay. So they're not interested in the karmic, they're celibate, and they no longer see themselves without your beautiful face by their side. You are and will always be my destination. That's why the karmic is jealous of you. Alright. For some of you, this karmic wants to um, give you a piece of her mind, okay? Or his mind, whoever the karmic is bottom of the deck I know you are God sent I couldn't be more grateful I guess God is a witch because we are spellbound by divine love trust me I'm not easily swayed by naysayers so they are in protective mode they're protecting themselves and they're being protective of where they want to go when it comes to you so there is some people around them trying to sway them away from taking the sleep of faith. But they're saying to you, they're not easily swayed by naysayers. Okay. And I can't wait to flirt with you. Wink, wink. And they can see you are full of surprises. So definitely the, this person watches you online. They love your smile. And... Um, yeah, they've been keeping an eye on you for sure. So let's see. Let's just get a few cards here. See what's going on. All right, Spirit. Tell me about this twin. Yeah, for some of you, it's a return. Others of you, there's somebody that wants you back here. And this person is not having it. Your twin is not having it. 
Someone from your past is coming back into, excuse me, in with hopes that you, you'll return to them. They intend on reconnecting in order to reestablish the connection you once shared. Again, remember, caution, competition. So that could be either one of the two of you or both of you. You have two people um, in your energies that want you back. And for some of you, this is your twin that wants you back. What else, spirit? Yeah, options. Told you. It says, you aren't the only one in in their lives they are still keeping their options open and have other interests on their mind so guys there's definitely a fear I feel you both have and probably neither one of you are either dating or want other people but there there are options here because we do have it here competition hidden under the moon so what I'm seeing is if one of you do do have other options, you're telling yourself, well, if I have other options, they must have other options. Because I see the moon here. So they're thinking you're trying to hide it if it's something that they're trying to hide. But I see some jealousy with the moon here. They don't like the fact that there's a past person that wants you back. And you could not like the fact that there's other people in their life. Obviously, there's not, I don't feel like the jealousy is like that crazy because for some of you, this is new. So can't be jealous about someone that hasn't even walked into your life yet, even though you feel the connection. But I'm sure like, I don't know, man, there, for some of you, it's like this person ain't having it. I feel this person is very protective. It's like cutting these two down to size. Like, you ain't getting near my empress. Okay? They're, you know, they're protecting you over here. You are not getting near my empress. Alright? They do not like the fact that someone here is surrounding your energy. For some of you. You know, now somebody here is juggling. So if it's not you, it's your twin. All right. But for others of you, they feel like you have someone. Anything else about this twin? Yeah, we have strategic. <laughs> um, hold on one second. They are very methodical. They don't want to miss out on an opportunity with you, but not sure how to progress. And so they are trying to come up with a game plan before they make any further movement. Okay, I really do feel like somebody's sitting up here really thinking you got somebody coming. You know, you got somebody here. Okay, because you have somebody here that wants... I'm telling you, for a lot of you, this is new, the twin. But you got a past person that wants to step into your life. And they might not have even reached out to you, to you yet. But it's like your twin knows. Because just like you get revelations in your dreams, they do too. Yeah, they see you as nurturing. Okay, or they are nurturing. They will make you feel cared for and supported. This person has a warm energy that will always make you feel safe. All right. So, I'm just seeing here that, you know, there there are some insecurities when it comes to other lovers. <laughs> That's really what I'm seeing. 
And, you know, for some of you, you do have someone in your past that wants you back. I don't know if they've reached out to you yet or not, but your twin knows about it, okay? So they must be getting, like, readings done on you, watching your social media, seeing who you're hanging out with. Um, and others of you, it's your twin that wants you back, obviously, but they're afraid that you have somebody else. They're being cautious, okay? And again, take it how it resonates. You could be the person that feels they have other it's like whatever you think they think whatever they think you start thinking you're you're projecting onto each other and because you're twin flames you're mirror each other's energy and there it could be a lot of confusion and misunderstandings here so take it how it resonates all right i wanted to do just their perspective on you guys but i was definitely feeling a lot of energy here and i gotta be true to my energy Alright guys, that's what I have. We're going to be doing the Karmic Soulmate Pile next. So let me know in the comments if anyone resonates. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Alright guys, hello. For those of you dealing with a Karmic Soulmate, it's still thundering out there. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, what's going on with this karmic soulmate situation? One more shuffle. Karmic soulmate spirit. infatuated so this is from their perspective hopefully we can keep it that way because I tried to do that with the twin flame pile and it was like I was getting a lot of energy so this is from your karmic soulmates perspective yeah <laughs> goodbye so there could have been a major lesson learned here already okay we have ready to mingle yeah, some of you left this karmic soulmate behind. There was a lesson to be learned there. And you're like, yeah, they were shallow. And you said goodbye. Okay. So, let's look at the bottom here. Yeah, some of you were just too loving and romantic. And you weren't up for the bullshit. You took your romance somewhere else. But let's see what's going on here. What's going on with this person? You took your love away from me. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Now what was that to do? She's crying over me and she was feeling blue. I said, don't cry, dry your eye. Here comes your mother with those two little guys. I mean, mother stuff to me. <laughs> That's an old song. A rap. All right, let's see. What's going on here? What's going on? Knight. Loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. That is the light attribute. The shadow attribute of this is allegiance to a destructive ruler or principle. Romantic delusions. Mm. And what else here? So what I feel this was, at which sometimes, uh, uh, most of the time, a lot of these karmic soulmate situations are full of illusions. They end up being a hard lesson. Okay. 
We have child, divine, innocence, purity, and redemption. Yes, suggest a special connection with the divine. So this was your catalyst, darling, to put you on this path and for you to see your own divinity. You are connected to the divine, okay? And the shadow attribute here is an, an inability to defend oneself against negative forces. So before your awakening here, through this karmic soulmate situation, um, you had an inability to defend yourself. You had your rose-colored glasses on. You felt like this person would um, was the one. And that usually is how it feels. In this situation with this karmic soulmate, I see the devil in the details. It was a catalyst to put you on your divine path, your self-worth, self-healing path and journey. And um, it was a hard lesson. Yes, definitely. But no more. This is someone you said goodbye to or said goodbye to you. Take it how it resonates. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, warrior. Okay. Strength, skill, discipline, and toughness of will. Heroism, stoicism, and self-sacrifice in conquering the ego. Yes. Ooh. Confirmation with that thunder. Thunder. Feel the thunder. Lightning and the thunder. And that looks like a lightning bolt. That's funny. Um, but yes, you have conquered your ego. Okay, you were self-disciplined and you had a toughness of will. So me and stoicism, this person cannot, you, you will not fold to this person ever again. They cannot um, fool you ever again. It's created a very tough person out of you and made a warrior out of yourself. So if you were putty in their hands before, like that putty has run, you know, has been hardened to to its full extent like you are no longer a putty in someone's hands that did not treat you right or make you feel right okay the shadow aspect here is trading ethical principles for victory at any cost indifference to the suffering inflicted on others i i don't feel like that's here like now that person you were dealing with could have been this way indifference to the suffering inflicted on others you know so i feel here somebody here was definitely shallow they did not treat you well um your feelings weren't reciprocated or they weren't being honored in a positive manner somebody toyed with you even though they i know they felt that soulmate tie um they could have acted out in a very negative way with shallow being here but you found your truth you found your your um your divinity through this pain through this darkness you healed and you've become quite the warrior so this was a long time ago is what i'm seeing so let's see let's see what's going on here even if it was a long time ago for those of you that feel like you're in these types of connections these are certain things that can transpire within your connection or have been transpiring within your connection so keep that in mind so let's see here And hopefully none, none of you will go come into these types of connections. But, you know, that just means you have past life karma with someone here. They could be very hot and heavy type of connections as well. You know, full of chemistry, but um, low vibrational. Could be toxic. Just depends on the type of person, you know, you both are here. Like I said, these run a lot smoother if you're both empathic. But if you're dealing with um, empath narcissist paradigm and it's a karmic soulmate, oof, that's definitely a lesson. And, you know, there's always a lesson in everything, but you know what I mean. Alright, let's see what's going on here. To <laughs> Right away, the tower. The tower. With infatuation, you know, another word for obsession, really. Could have been divine intervention. Yeah, you became the queen of swords and cut that person out with goodbye. Okay, strong-willed. 
it could have shocked this person. But with the Tower and the Queen of Swords, it was like, hell no. <laughs> okay. Temperance. Yeah, you're more balanced now, I feel. And you go with the flow. And you're ready to mingle, but you're not, like, jumping into anything. You're just going with the flow. Yeah. Page of Wands. Definitely somebody was shallow, immature, maybe younger than you. Um, they had a lot to learn. So I'm just getting instead of their perspective, what I'm getting is what has what has transpired within the connection here. Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is also a contract with the Tower here. I feel like that's the end of that. Okay. For others of you, it could have been um, third party situations here. Or they could have put you in third party situations. All right. But divine intervention definitely stepped in into this connection. Yeah, Five of Swords. Damn. Five of Swords with the Queen of Swords. Some of you were... Okay, I'm getting this two ways. You match this person's energy with that Five of Swords. Okay, so if they were giving you the Five of Swords energy, you gave them the Five of Swords energy. And you said goodbye. You were blunt with whatever the hell you had to say. There could have been an argument here. There could have been a lot of banter between you guys that was kind of toxic. Um, disrespectful energy here between the two of you. Okay. Because you guys were triggering each other. Especially with karmic soulmates. That is a trigger. You're a full mirror to this person and vice versa. So if they gave you that five of swords energy, you gave it right back. This is bitch mode right here. Okay. <laughs> hey, sometimes that happens. Um... For others of you, if you were dealing with a Queen of Swords that was always in your face, talking shit, spreading rumors, you know, giving you the evil eye, trying to one-up you, being cutthroat, you said goodbye to this person. You lost your patience, and um, there was divine intervention here, and you feel like this person was shallow. So take it how it resonates. This could definitely be both ways. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles. You're focused on your coin, male or female. You're more in balance. You're more independent. You're focused on focused on nurturing yourself, looking good, you know, going out, taking care of yourself. Open to dating is what I see here. Going with the flow. I mean, that's a really good energy. Nothing compared to this energy here. And we have the Queen of uh, Wands here. Yeah. Some of you are just, you know, doing your thing. Being creative also is what I see here. Taking the initiative in your life. And looking damn good. Okay. Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands is someone that, you know, invests in themselves. Also very ambitious. Very, very creative. Um, some of you could be earth angels with temperance and the queen of pentacles. Yeah, I see you getting very creative. Okay, what else? Yeah. So somebody here is still stalking you. Okay, they could have had an epiphany or, or there's something shocking that they saw online. This is a page of swords with infatuated in the tower. Somebody's still watching you watching you work or watching what you do they're still amazed by you i don't know yeah four of swords sleeping with one eye open <laughs> healing from the situation um reflecting on this person's behavior and how you some of you are reflecting on how you had to get a little nasty even with this person For some of you you're reflecting on how nasty this person was to you so, wow, take it how it resonates. Yeah, Four of Pentacles. Okay. Some of you could be saving your money. Um, you could be getting ready to mingle, but maybe not quite there just yet. I'm feeling here like you're saving your money. 
there could be something you want to do for yourself um, this could be surgery getting your teeth done getting your hair done your nails done it, but it feels like something more expensive this could be saving money to maybe buy a, a house or there's something or a car even she's sitting on a I never noticed this but she's sitting on a moped okay so some of you could just could have just bought something or a new car or something all right maybe some of you are just not you're you're you want to mingle but you're just not quite ready all right let's see here yeah we have the king of pentacles okay so we have the king and queen of pentacles So, like I said, this karmic soulmate could have had you in third party situations here. Okay. They could have been, you could have worked with this person also is what I'm seeing here. For some of you, somebody here is, um, I don't know, like greedy, they're stingy. So this person could have been like stingy, penny pincher. I don't know, it's like on the outside you guys would have looked great together. And I, I feel like you worked together. Or you were both focused on being, you know, responsible. I do feel there was like competition between the two of you here. It's like if you were independent, this person has to think of a way to be independent and one up you. But I feel like you were both in this energy before you understood your divinity, okay? before you raised your vibration is what I'm getting there was definitely somebody else in the mix because this person was shallow they were focused on material things and attractive people it was all about passion sex chemistry and money there was no like substance and for you it was like okay well, let me give you the cold steel <laughs> of the queen of swords and I got more knives where that came from <laughs> It's almost like, you know, <laughs> you went to sleep thinking about it, but with a knife in your hand still. Like, I, I, I wish they'd come for me. <laughs> I got something to say. I got a few things to say. <laughs> I just feel like you really cut this person out. Maybe they were shocked by that. <laughs> yeah, you were like, okay, you stay with your attractive holes you know go ahead with yourself go go portray like you have this that and the third together when you're immature and shallow I'll go find my divinity and you know raise my vibration here <laughs> this is what I'm, yeah you, you walked away I feel they were shocked that you walked away because they were actually infatuated but they weren't treating you like that. And they were a little concerned and taken back. I mean, look at this person's face. Said, did they just walk away from me? <gasps> they had a tower moment when you walked away. I think their heart might have sunk a little. I don't think they felt like you would. you had the balls to do that. But you went queen of swords on the ass. You sure did. Yep, there you go. Single, independent. Don't need nobody. Energy. Okay. This is self-mastery, self-made. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you turned your life around. So it was definitely the catalyst to put you in a better energy. For some of you, there was somebody, oh, like a, a mutual 
friend or hidden enemy talking about you, talking crap about you, okay, that could have been standing in the way, because I see there was other people involved here in the situation. Either way, it was a lesson anyway. But I do see somebody here might, could have been re very jealous of, of you, your independence, how you are self-made. Um, you know, you bounce back beautifully with the Nine of Pentacles. You, you went through healing. You're in a better place. Okay, if you left the Queen of Swords behind, same thing. That person is like pissed off, jealous, you know, spreading rumors because you left their ass. Okay, for the gentleman here that was dealing with a brutal Queen of Swords. You left their ass and they couldn't believe that you actually walked away. They got a little taken back by that. And you look happy. Yeah, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah. For some of you, this, this person is still holding on to you, full of regrets of how they treated you here. So they're still holding on to your energy. They see you as wife material. They see you as an earth angel. Okay, they see that, you know, perhaps you're getting ready to have your options open or you're keeping your options open or you can have anyone you want, basically, and they're sitting in regret. In shame. Yeah. Yeah. There's the death card. Okay. There it is. Change and transformation. And leaving something behind. They're dead to you. And they know it. Yep. You said, I'm going through a transformation. I will stumble right over you. Okay. And you let it go. Like I said, you can have your 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 hose or your attractive, lustful, immature. For some of you, somebody was into young females here, young attractive females, and it was all about materialistic and lustful. And you said I had enough of that. You're done. And for those of you gentlemen that were dealing with a brutal Queen of Swords that was attractive but immature or younger than you you definitely left that behind and you'll never be the same um, you're going through a major transformation um, and for and for those of you that were dealing with this kind of karmic soulmate you're you're also finding your divinity so I see like a masculine and a feminine could have went through this energy here yeah it's a new day clarity is here um, ready to lighten the load in your life happiest card in the deck yeah new love is approaching something truthful honest and just so your justice is new love uh, returning back to self back to innocence back to who you were before all the bullshit took place because there is healing here and we do have the king of wands yeah, somebody here was definitely um, King of Wands with the Two of Pentacles and the Devil. Somebody here could have had a sex addiction as well. They just couldn't get enough of um, the ladies. Yeah. They were stuck investing in a lot of people because of ego. But you were different. There's the Two of Cups. Yeah, but unfortunately, there was other people as well. Yep, they went through judgment. With justice and judgment, yeah, truth, clarity. Um, this person definitely owes you some sort of apology here. With the world, that's coming full circle. Spirit handing you the sword to cut out what doesn't serve you and to speak your truth. Okay, definitely. Regrets, single, walking away, transformation. Healing the heart chakra. Okay. Seeing relationships in a whole new, different type of way. 
All right, let's see what else we got here. Karmic soulmate. Um, yeah, I think I could use these still. Let's see. One more shuffle. Not dating at this time. Yeah, some of you walked away and, you know, you could be single at this time. Yeah, we have new love. So, yeah, you're, you're, like I said, you're getting prepared for something new here. I'm worried you have someone else. Yep. They do worry about that. They're full of regrets. And if I tell you how I felt, would the feelings be reciprocated? So somebody's trying to pull Lazarus here. Okay. I want to travel with you. It's like you walked away and somebody wanted to come with you here. Moving forward, yeah, you're not going back. You want new love. Absolutely. Yeah, they feel guilty. They're full of regrets. They're depressed. They're worried you have someone else now. Yeah, and somebody else here is um, going for it. So it's like this person's going to tell you how they feel now. They're going to tell you, I know I was shallow, I was immature. You know, I found you very attractive, but I decided to focus on materialistic things, you know, focusing on work, trying to focus away from the obvious here. I have went through a transformation. They're going to try to tell you, okay, but you don't want this person back. You're done. Yeah, and there's jealousy here. And they want to make a move because they're worried you have someone else. And they should be because you're looking for a new love. You're in ready to mingle mode. Alright, let's see what else here. You know, too little, too late kind of energy, right? They admire your wisdom. Invest in a skill you love. You got skills, use them. I feel like that's what you're doing. You, you know, you started focusing on yourself. You're being very creative. You're investing in your own skills, your own, uh, you know, your own talents, whatever it is you do here. And yeah, you are the most dangerous addiction. The taste of you just wasn't enough. So this person didn't even get to really fully experience you because they were too in their ego and putting other people and other things before you. They were really, really in their low vibrational energy. You keep me guessing, laughing, and intrigued. My eyes are on you. So yeah, they're still watching. Yeah, you've lost interest. Next, please. We have empath, empath connection, mutual respect, healing energies. That's the new love. That's the kind of connection you want. Okay. With moving forward, no going back. Unforgettable, they will never forget you. Yeah, they're in their feelings about you. They're infatuated. They're addicted to you. They have regrets. They feel guilty. And yep, they were narcissistic. Get off that high horse with shallow. So they're trying to pull a Lazarus and come back. They're trying to match your energy once again because you're in the Queen of Pentacles. They're going to try to match your energy with the King of Pentacles. 
So, but shallow is still here. Narcissistic, you don't really change that. If you're a narcissist, you're a narcissist. Okay? You're a forever narcissist. Um, and talk is cheap here. It's time for some action. So, this person is... They're planning on doing a whole, you know, comeback here. But, of course, you're done. Alright? Yeah, in their heart, there's only you thinking of you. And they're addicted to your essence. And I feel like you guys are resting, rejuvenating, taking it easy. You know, aside from what you do for work. Yeah. I might fear what I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it anyways. Go for it. So they're going to go for it. But just know it's an empath, narcissist connection. Yikes. You deserve better. You have some sort of royalty in your bloodline. You're, you're, you know. So I feel like because you're so connected to the divine and you've raised your vibration and you're in a beautiful energy now, you will be... Um, financially stable if you're not already you're on your way to um, a very abundant path so something is being gifted to you this is like a, a like a blessing that was on hold because it, it is for you it is your birthright and there's something here it says past life payment payout okay so if you haven't received that yet you'll start to see that and it's probably gonna come in after this you might be tested so definitely be careful with this person's person a little tricky with the narcissistic energy they're trying to come back and trying to tell you that they've changed that they're more stable but they're 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 lying okay sure they fell for you yes they miss you and everything but they're narcissistic at the end of the day they play games they play mind games they're strategic so you know it doesn't matter. You don't want that. You want empath, empath. Yeah. If I had it my way, you would be here with me right now. And this is exactly what I was seeing here with this whole five of swords. Fake friends, haters, gossip. Keep doing you. You're doing something right. So because you leveled up, you cut some people out of your life. Um, they're sitting back talking shit, stuck in the same place. Yeah. If you need a sign, ask for it. Okay. And you shall receive it. When this person comes back trying to uh, pull the wool over your eyes again. Yeah, because they do have tricks up their sleeve. Look out, there's a snake in the building. Alright, some of you might need to do a little more shadow work. This can feel daunting, but you will get through this. Okay, have faith. Um, but what I'm seeing is that person needs shadow work, but they could just live in their shadow. Yeah, you're a light worker lesson learned here you're taking staycation their friends think you're hot and there's envious people of you because you just make it look easy but they didn't see the struggle because some of you went through that dark night of the soul definitely and they didn't see the struggle let's get some energy here about this person Yeah, we have accusation they have a hard time taking accountability and resort to finger pointing they will be they will blame you for anything that seems to go wrong and we have curiosity here you sparked up new curiosity within them and they are wanting to know and learn everything they possibly can about you and it does say they admire your wisdom so it's like they didn't see you till you were gone kind of energy. 
what else? They're curious to see what you've been up to. Like, what's this newfound sense of self here? Yeah, egocentric. This person is completely blocked off when it comes to seeing the perspective of others. The way they conduct themselves will be biased according to their own own point of view. Own point of view. So definitely, of course, they're narcissistic. They could have a, a very limited mindset or belief system here. And, you know, you were a ride-or-die kind of person they missed out on is what I'm seeing here. Okay? They will ride for you and would die for you. If you need support, they got you. If anyone gets in your way, they got it. I feel like that's your energy. Um, that's the kind of person you, you would have been, but they're a player. Definitely. They aren't ready to fully settle down and still haven't retired their player ways. Yeah, and definitely frustration, the lack of clarity and uncertainty they bring into the connection will leave you feeling overwhelmed and frustrated. Yeah, definitely, I see that all over here. And immaturity, which I see as well. They are currently not on your level and are too immature for you. Yep, and that's currently. And they could be keeping a secret from you also. Hush, hush. They're keeping a secret from you because they are unsure of how you will react if you knew the truth. Hmm. So there you go. What's this secret? Let's, let's try and find out. Not that you really care. You're, you guys are already... Um, you're not going back. You already learned the lesson. But this person is trying to come back around. That could be a test for some of you. Because I feel like you're aligning to somebody new here. But, you know, I'm doing karmic soulmate. I, I don't want to get into all of that. But we will clarify this secret. What is this secret? Okay, they've been um, spending, they've been distant and spending some time alone here, hiding out. They are going through depression. But what else? There could be uh, something that they're depressed about that they found out. Could be a health issue or something going on here. I also keep hearing they could have got somebody pregnant. Yep, <laughs> that's what it is. They got somebody pregnant. And they don't want you to know for whatever reason. Maybe they got somebody you knew in your circle pregnant. And they don't want you to know. Could be an air sign. Yeah, five of swords. That's a confirmation. So there's a hater here. Didn't want to see you with that person anyways. And they ended up getting that person pregnant. That's the secret. Huh? Yep, there it is. Damn, can't make it up. Yeah, they got a Queen of Swords pregnant, and they can't stand you because they knew the connection you guys shared, but they got this person pregnant. Yeah, the lovers with the devil. Ooh. So this person got a karmic soulmate pregnant. I don't know why I said it that way. Huh? They got the devil pregnant. Devil was certainly in the details. They connected two people through passion and lust. I knew it. So they got they got uh, involved with um, a young person, and you're moving forward. Now, for some of you, if you're the gentleman that got you met a karmic soulmate and you got that person pregnant, 
you know, that person is definitely narcissistic. You're ready to move forward. You have regrets because there, I feel like there could be someone else that you had in mind that you didn't go for. Okay, and now you're single away from that person trying to heal and not going back. Somebody could have betrayed you also and maybe they got pregnant by someone else. But there is a pregnancy here. Yeah. You got stuck. Okay. And there's a betrayal with the three of swords. You're filled with anxiety. Five of cups. Six of cups. Temperance. Yeah. So... So for some of you, this person got pregnant, and that's what they're not telling you. For the gentlemen that were dealing with this brutal queen of swords, they got pregnant, and they don't want you to know, so they've been hiding out. It's on the hush-hush. And for the for others of you that you have the queen of swords, this karmic soulmate, and you're moving on because they were narcissistic, um, that person wants to pull a Lazarus, but they, their secret is that they got somebody pregnant, somebody that hated you and was talking shit about you. But for the gentleman, you were definitely dealing with a narcissist and this person was, a, I feel verbally abusive even, and they were talking a lot of shit here, but they're pregnant. And maybe you don't even know about it because I see walk you walked away. And you're feeling some type of way. It's like you regret getting into that situation. But you're going through dark night of the soul here. So I see that in a few ways. Okay guys, well that's what I have for you. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. The next pile will be karmic cycle, friend, family, um, foe, or lover. So... We're going to see what that's about over there. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you on the flip side if you decide to join me. If not, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hello, guys. All right. So for those of you who picked Karmic Cycle, friend, family, foe, or lover, this would be someone, excuse me, Oh, so this should be interesting. <coughs> I, it's like all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I'm having a coffee deck. Okay. <coughs> Alrighty then. So this will be someone you have no spiritual connection to. It's just karmic. This could be a friend, a family, a hidden enemy, which is foe or lover. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. What is going on with this energy? One more shuffle for the collective here for this karmic cycle with whomever these people are this could definitely be more than one person you're dealing with that is around you right because there's plenty of karmic energies that we encounter in our lifetimes so let's see no soul connection spirit talk to me okay all right we have balance your energy get ready for we have single <laughs> 
and high energy. So what I'm seeing here collective is that you have a high energy, but there are karmic people that are going to be coming into your life or that are surrounding your energy at this time, obviously, that perhaps do not have their energy balanced. They're unbalanced. They're still in a karmic energy, you know, more 3D kind of energy, you know, stuck in repetitive cycles. You know, some of these people could have limited mindsets, conditioning, you know, follow the herd kind of um, energy. Now, not to say that that is better or less than anything that you're doing or anyone else is doing. But, you know, some people just, they're at the level they're supposed to be in this lifetime and they're not going to evolve past that. Um, and that's okay. Some people stay at their comfort level and they don't question anything in their life and they just go with the flow. That's okay too. Now, we're going to see if these people are, you know, good influences around you or if they're bad influences around you. Because you are single, you have high energy, so you could have some haters here. Alright, you could also have some people that are interested in your energy. Um, as far as lovers here as well, but they are not balanced or healed or possibly oblivious to the whole soul evolution and all of that, okay? Bottom of the deck here, we have, yeah, you have good karma. All right, these could be people that you are meant to come together with because it says coming soon and unified. For those of you who, um, because of your high energy, who relate to being like a spiritual teacher, yeah, these could be people that you haven't seen in a while to be continued. Um, some of these people you could be coming together with to um, help raise their vibration. They might a actually ask you, you know, how are you doing so good? Because this reminds me of like Nine of Pentacles energy. You're self-sufficient. You're smart. Um, things seem to be going good for you and I'm over here unbalanced everything is going wrong so you might have some people coming to you for advice as well okay so they see you have good karma and they they want to connect with you okay the only problem is that these people are coming to you with you know unbalanced so it might take a little patience we're gonna see how they're coming at you here so let's see what we got. For some of you just doing good for yourself and they're like, damn, you know, such and such has been doing great for themselves. They've been kind of MIA. I would like to connect with them again and, you know, maybe they can give me some advice. Maybe they can, you know, show me a new perspective. I don't know. So let's see here. But for some of you, these could be love interest. They want some of that energy, okay? <laughs> so watch out. And, you know, someone in a high vibration cannot be in a relationship with somebody in a low vibration. It just doesn't work that way. And you know that. Because you're not here to fix anyone or, and put yourself in harm's way. You would be someone at this stage that um, establishes boundaries. You know how to remove your energy from others so that you can kind of raise your own vibration and focus on your, you know, your task and what you have going on in your life. This is somebody trying to better their life here. All right. So let's see. Yeah, we have shapeshifter, skill at navigating through different levels of consciousness, ability to see the potential in everything. So definitely somebody here is on a whole nother level here and very in tune with thyself. And, you know, learning every day more and more. Now, the shadow aspect of this, which could be some of the energies here surrounding you or wanting to unify with you, is projecting any image that serves your personal, their personal agendas in the moment. So these could be like shapeshifters, chameleons, you know, people that aren't really in standing in their true authenticity and stick out they blend in or they follow the herd they follow the crowd and they wear a mask so whether they're good or bad you know there's all types that's what I'm seeing let's see here we have engineer ability to give creative energy a practical expression 
Talent for Designing Resolutions to Common Dilemmas. Yeah, so some of you are all about figuring things out, um, getting the solution you need. I see a lot of energy of working on your own. Some of you, of course, you could be engineers. You could have a lot of answers to problems that most people just don't do on their own. You know, sometimes people don't even do their own research. They don't like to. They just want somebody to fix it. It's like, fix it. I got a problem. Fix it. <laughs> You know, and you, you look like a problem solver is what I'm seeing. The shadow attribute of this is reliance on me mechan mecha mechanistic solutions without regard for emotional consequences. Yeah. Okay. So let's continue. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, you could be just a liberator. You liberate it yourself. yourself. Therefore, there could be some karmic energies coming at you that um, you will be liberating or wanting to seek you out for um, advice. Okay, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs, releasing negative thoughts, patterns. And that's exactly what some of these people need to do here. Um, the shadow aspect is imposing your own tyranny over those you claim to liberate ignoring legitimate constraints and I don't I don't really see that here we have high energy and single so let's continue let's see what's happening here let's get into the tarot here if I can find it that motorcycle was an omen um, these could be careless people, some of them. They take unnecessary risks. This, that person was like just driving that thing like he was at a racetrack. So some of these people could be a little immature. These could be people you walked away from already, haven't spoken to in a while. You know, there's calculated risk and then there's foolish risk, right? Let's see what's going on here. Um, for some of you, somebody's coming out of left field here that you haven't spoken to in a while. Yeah, we have the Hierophant. So that lets me know a lot <laughs> with balance your energy here. Um... Again, this could be many things. This could be you being in a leadership position and more of a spiritual um, type of energy. And you have people around you that are more conservative, have certain belief systems. Okay, but their energy is not balanced. Alright, it's almost like, okay, well I thought this was, you know, they see life through a different lens you know, you threw on a different pair of glasses because you know that in life there are not just one pair. There are many. So there are many visions, many ways of seeing life, um, many truths also, not just one. And um, these people might be stuck in a one-track mind situation. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah. It says get ready for betrayal here with ten of swords. So there's somebody around you here that could have a completely different belief system than you. They don't believe in anything you have to say. They don't they don't want to believe it even though they see you're in high energy. Things are going good in your life. This is somebody here around you that wants to go against you at all costs. And it has everything to do with their beliefs and the way they um, live their life. Um, this, and, you know, to betray somebody to for being different is absolutely ridiculous. So this is the kind of person that will try to impose upon you their beliefs in a negative way. Somebody that wants you to believe what they believe in at all costs, even though you're more open-minded and you're on a whole other level and things are working out for you. The proof is in the pudding. You can see it between lifestyles. One is unbalanced, one is balanced and high energy. So you tell me who's doing what the right way. 
or the wrong way. But for whatever reason, and if somebody's planning to betray you on top of that, tell me how that is being in the right energy. Absolutely not. You know, sometimes people get so caught up in their own beliefs that they they shame others for not believing that this would be that somebody here is the kind of person that would definitely wear a mask somebody that would only hang out with a specific group a specific type of friends and you know this person doesn't understand the way you live your life because you're more open-minded you know that there are many truths not just one so if anybody's trying to betray you for that you tell me how that belief system is serving that person if they're shutting everybody out for their beliefs or what they believe in that's different than theirs so there's a karmic and they're a karmic okay meaning they're in a lower vibration they're, they're in a very 3d mindset and for some of you this is somebody you have a soul or, or well, not a soul tie to, but you had unconditional love for. Okay, because there's no soul ties in this. This is somebody you could have, you know, two very different people. If you see this person is um, Caucasian, I feel this this person could be like Indian or or, you know, of different race colors. I feel like you see things as they are in connection. Two people that can get along, right? Coincide with one another. And maybe those are the types of connections you look for now. But these people believe in, you know, marriage for the rest of their life, even if it ends in betrayal and even if whatever. It's like, and, and they think that God put that together. No, they put that together. Humans put that together. Okay, but you're looking for a soul mate. And they, these are the kind of people that don't believe in that. Okay, again, karmic. Karmic energy. People living out karmic cycles that they, don't, they can't get themselves out of because of their belief systems and conditioning. These are pe these, and I'm not saying everybody's like that. What I'm saying is these specific people are the kind of people that do not have they're not open-minded they don't want to believe in anything else you know it's like you tell this person you saw a UFO they'll look at you like you have four heads but yet they'll believe in the devil and say everything is the devil it, it, you know it, it, I can go on and on but anyway yeah Eight of Pentacles. So you're just focused on doing your thing, working, and you're single, and you know the kind of connection that you perhaps feel with someone or feel like that's what you want to have. Maybe that's what you're working towards, working on yourself so that you can um, manifest someone in that same energy. Okay? A mutual respect and partnership. Mutual love, unconditional love. So it's almost like... Maybe you're older and people see you and it's like, okay, you haven't been married, you haven't had kids, you know, and all of your friends are married with children and have been, you know, either divorced or they're stuck in a loveless marriage that, you know, they don't want to get out of because, you know, their beliefs say that they should be stuck forever, even though they're in karmic situations, but they don't understand they're in karmic situations that kind of energy all right so let's see here yeah poof the devil with the higher font darling what did i just say about the devil some of these people and i'm not saying all so don't come for me in the comments but there are people out there that hide behind religion and they're the devil in disguise some of these people are wearing a real thick mask okay and their beliefs they're really the devil in disguise and they're using a belief system to portray a specific image and it's all about controlling whoever falls for this energy okay because the devil's in the details here and I'm not saying all but some people do this 
okay and you know that's true and those are the people what, what does it say balance your energy they're not balanced this, this, this these are hypocrites here this is a this is the kind of people that go to church they'll talk to you about God and over here there's they're full of addictions see a lot of alcohol partying drinking sex smoking cigarettes you know it that's just a representation of toxicity it doesn't have to be because you smoke a cigarette you're a hypocrite no I'm just saying that as a form of you know a level of toxicity in this image with the devil addictions you know people that have um, they live an oppressed life and they they're hypocrites and then in the in the background they're doing all kinds of shit in secret okay and unbalanced living a karmic life repeating karmic cycles that they can't get themselves out of because why they were raised to think that you go to church and, and God forgives all sins but they can sin all day and they think God is gonna forgive everything no you rack up your own karma when you're like this karma is still a part of who you are when you come into this world so whether God forgives all sins or not you're still racking up karma bad karma you know it, it, it's just ridiculous but anyways let's see what else yeah there you go with the cycles so get ready for ten of swords two of pentacles there's a cycle here of betrayal some of you could have already went through this um, and some of you understood through this particular situation with some people here could have been in your past um, that betrayed you you understood that this is not the kind of people you want around you people that you know portray to be something else but then they're toxic and all they do is betray these are backstabbers okay it's like damn you know I can't trust this you know and for some of you that's what got you to be more to yourself and solve your own problems it's like you've turned your your face on that you don't judge them for it but you don't want to be a part of it okay you're on a different level here you know what you're looking for and you're looking for like-minded individuals um, you know a deeper meaning to connections in your life you don't want to be fake phony or wear a mask you're working on raising your vibration and being a better human being that basically yeah Queen of Wands you're very ambitious um, intuitive go-getter attractive um, you could be very passionate about life about the things that you do you have great work ethic you have a lot of passion in your soul okay so you want something that is loving and passionate you you you're only entertaining people that that you can relate to that have an open mind that you can have you know it's unconditional love it's not this swords cold swords and betrayal and the devil kind of energy you don't want to be in that mix okay this is the devil's playground you're on a whole nother playground yeah and there you go victory and success is yours you are very admired for how you bounce back here and like I said some of these people have betrayed you but some of these people want to come back in your energy because they're wondering what it is that you do different that looks so good over here and they're sitting here in the devil the two of Pentacles the ten of swords with the hierophant and you're over here successful being admired for your work ethic things you do and um, having victory in your life you're smiling over here you're smiling over here you're you're concentrated and good thoughts over here you're compassionate alright so these are people coming to you that miss your energy also and maybe it's because they're tired of being betrayed okay so the same people that betray you are starting to realize you know 
maybe they're not wrong. Maybe the collective is not wrong. Everything seems to be working out for them, even if, it, if that's just how it looks on the surface. You know how to bounce back. You know how to persevere. You know how to do better and be better. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Look at that. People driven by sex, toxicity, and addictions. It's people having sexual addictions. I'm telling you. Some pretending here, going to church, and then confessing about their sins that they go home and do every day. You know, it two two faced, two sided. You know? Yeah, and they're watching. People that have betrayed you are watching you. Page of Swords. Contemplating. Damn, you know, I want to talk to this person, but I didn't treat them the best. You know? Some of them just want to talk to you to get on your nerves. Some of them, they want to sleep with you still. Especially with this energy. It's like they want to plug in, you know? They want to recharge. You got the energy they need. But it's toxic. This is a toxic wee-wee over here. <laughs> For somebody, there's a toxic wee-wee over here. Okay? But, you know, this is like somebody wants to spiritually attach themselves to you. Spirit, somebody here has spiritual attachments. But it's their, their belief system is ruining them. And it's almost like, you know, some people get so involved in this um, indulgence and, and um, you know, this is control. Pow somebody here could have um, a love of power and control but they're so wrong on the inside. You know, they get, you know, lust and, and all of this. It, it's just, and they, they want to bring this energy to you. Can you imagine? Somebody wants to have your energy and, and, and attach it, attach themselves to you. Yeah, this devil has his penis out. Gross. It's just... it's. it's uh, <laughs> I want to throw up in my mouth. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Look at that. You see? You believe in love. You believe that you can have the right person in your life. You, you believe... I mean, your skies... You have a rainbow over your life over here. You're living in abundance, in happiness, in joy, focused on family or growing a family, focused on love. You know, you know that you can have something better. And you understand that in order to have someone in your life that you, you would admire, that you would want, that has, that possesses the qualities you would want, you have to be that person for that other person as well. It's only fair, right? But this over here are the kind of people that think that they can have your energy without doing any work. So it's almost like the empath, the narcissist. You know, <laughs> it, night, night and day energy over here. Yeah, you created distance here. Some of you have moved. You know, you just want a better life for yourself. What you do for a living could definitely, you. we did see Liberator there. So you could be working online. You could be a spiritual teacher for some of you. You could be, you know, an engineer, like I said. Whatever you have expertise on, you do it with the right frame of mind, with the right energy. And, you know, leader energy with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Wands. But, you know, there's always haters, right? There's always haters amongst, you know, the admirers. And But look at their energy. Look at where they're stuck. In a lustful place. They're, they're running amok like that motorcycle in the devil's uh, playground. Let's do one more round. Yeah. Riddled with fear, anxiety, sleepless nights, drunk nights, hungover, you know, party time, party all the time. 
can't sleep. The energy is so, I mean, it, it's it's depicted so well here. You're at peace and balance and high energy. These people are getting high, drinking, having sex with random people. But yet, their belief system, they feel is the right belief system. It makes no sense. Temperance, they're watching you. Looking like an earth angel, balanced and going with the flow. See the difference? Huge difference. They're watching you. These are people that betrayed you watching you. Yeah, there you go. You're on your chariot. Having victory. Keeping it moving. With the Ten of Cups. Riding off into the damn sunset. There's the motorcycles. <laughs> there you go. Balance. Having enough to give to others. Re you believe in reciprocity. And some of you, if you're not in a... You're working towards being very content. Where you will be giving to others as well. You're highly admired as much as you are hated by others. But it's because, obviously, the difference. People hating on your energy because you actually did something about it, but they have not. And there's people over here that admire your energy, that would love to be in this energy. And they admire you for it. They might ask you for advice. Um, you know, I mean, the, the energy is clear here. Can't make it up. Yeah. Judgment Day. Again, you are the liberator here. So, this is good karma for you because of the work that you have done for yourself. Yeah, and look at that. Look at that. And you deserve real love. And that's exactly what you're waiting for and looking for. Ace of Cups, Four of Wands. Okay. Self-love, self-worth. Stability. And there is somebody here. <laughs> there is somebody here. This could be you. You could shock a lot of people by the things you say. Okay, but you don't take shit from anybody. You're the kind of person that could transform people's lives with your wisdom and the things that you have learned. Okay? So you have a transformative energy about you. Okay? You are very protected. And, and you could have blocked many people online. People trying to find you online. Trying to look at you on social media. Trying to see what you're saying. And, you know, some of them could be shocked that you blocked them. All of a sudden, they're looking for your number, and they can't find it. They're like, damn, that bitch blocked me. But, um, and they would hate you for it, but then they're the ones that put ten knives on your back. Okay? That's what I'm seeing there. It's either you, you're either with me or against me. Okay? But, you know, if you're not with me, then let me move on and let me be me. Right? Yeah, two of wands. You want a completely different direction than the rest. And these people are still in their three of swords, immaturity, and stuck in their mind. Eight of swords. And there's that motorcycle. So there is somebody low vibrational here. Could be an Aquarius for some of you. Um, but somebody here needs healing. Yeah, and this person is hating on you. So there is somebody in specific here, or a group of people, that feel left behind, abandoned, because you decided to heal yourself. And they're talking shit about it. Okay? There's somebody reckless here and unpredictable, is what I'm feeling as well. 
Yeah, there's somebody here that could have been manipulative and brought drama into your life with the magician, the five of wands, and the five of swords. That this is a lot of people too. And a lot of people could be hating on you because you are manifesting. They can't stand the fact that you can manifest things, great things into your life. And if you don't have this love in your life yet, which I see because you're single, they're going to be hating on that too. They're going to be like, how the hell does everything just turn out so great for the collective? Huh? It's because you did the inner work. And you opened your mind to the new or endless possibilities that life has to offer. You, you didn't just stay stuck at what you were taught or conditioned to believe. And it's okay to not get it, you know, to not evolve this lifetime because it, clearly not everyone is going to, okay? But if you're in a very, you know, toxic, negative, you know, energy, trying to backstab someone for what, growing and, and being good for themselves, they, they look at it as like it's an attack on them or on their character. They're mad at you for doing the things that they're not willing to do in their life. So it's almost like a reflection of what they're not doing. And then they get mad at that. It makes no sense. Yeah, look at that. Altercation, a physical altercation may break out. These could be the kind of people that were, you know, they, they just, they bring conflict, drama. You already saw five of wands, five of swords. Somebody's reckless here. And I feel like somebody wants to reach out, but you block them and they're pissed off. This could be quite a few people. <laughs> Not just one. I'm telling you. It's crystal clear here. You're not hurting anybody. You're keeping to yourself and you're doing you. You even, you're at a distance. But these people get all butt hurt when people try to move on and better their life. They take it personal. It's not supposed to be personal. We, you weren't born attached at the hip with no one. Yeah, we got somebody here stubborn. Someone is very stuck in their way. Absolutely. Stuck with the devil, the hierophant, the ace of wands. Okay, well, you know. Be stuck. Stop hating on other people. Yeah, they're jumping to conclusions about what you got going on. Okay? You may be jumping to conclusions without all the information. Absolutely. They're watching you and jumping to conclusions. Hating. Why? Because they have a limited mindset and they're unbalanced. Therapist. Someone needs to visit a therapist. I'm telling you, somebody wants your help here. There is somebody in the mix amongst whatever this is somebody that wants to get out of whatever this is okay and they could have betrayed you in the past but it's almost like we did see redemption somebody here wants to redeem themselves okay they see they they see how positive your life has turned out and they want to get out of this hellhole that's somebody here a karmic energy here uh, where was that? We did see redemption. Didn't we? I don't remember. Or was that somewhere else? I don't know why I felt like I saw redemption. Oh, well. That's what I'm seeing. Oh, okay, because I saw judgment before. Yeah. Romantic thoughts, having romantic thoughts about you. So someone could be, you know, thinking about you or you're over here thinking about someone that you already like, you feel passionate towards, that you wish you could, um, you know, get a little closer with. Yeah, sexual fantasies with this person, stubborn and the devil and the ace of wands. Someone has been having sexual fantasies about you. So there is a karmic here. Definitely very karmic energy that has sexual fantasies about you. This is somebody that could have betrayed you here Look at that blackmail someone could be getting blackmailed with jumping to conclusions I don't know what that's about but somebody here 
could be trying to blackmail you or somebody's over here hating saying you could be trying to blackmail somebody I don't see how somebody could be trying to blackmail you we have hidden truth you're hiding from your true self that's somebody here that wants to come towards you they see you as as someone that can help them that's what I'm seeing with the therapist card because you're a liberator and mirroring experiencing similar energies so yeah there is somebody that you see the ten of cups with that you have romantic thoughts about you they're having romantic thoughts about you so there is an energy here um, that you're thinking about but it's it's a deeper connection that's what you're looking for not this you're not looking for karmic yeah you're leveling up in life okay and that's exactly what's happening there's something significant here about the holidays, so something around New Year's. That's probably when this connection could come into your life here. And whoever this other person is, they're obsessed with you. This stubborn person with sexual... Yeah, and they're doing black magic. They've been using dark magic on you. So you see this? Dark magic with the Hierophant and the Devil. Portraying to be something they're not, doing the most with the devil energy, obsession is the devil as well, and also on top of it doing black magic. This person is cursed their whole life. You could see it. This person is betraying you and wanting to come to you, um, I, I feel, to pull the wool over your eyes because they want sex. And if they went somewhere else and betrayed you that way, the grass was fake. They found somebody just as fake as they are. Yeah, they're seeing angel numbers for some of you. Or you were seeing angel numbers to get you on your path is what I'm seeing here. Yeah, and again, the situation needs more balance. This person is very unbalanced and skeletons could be coming out of the closet about this person. That might leave you shook. The information or the situation may leave you shook. So there's something going on with, with some one specific karmic here around your energy. But yeah, this person is 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 just an obstacle. Okay, they're 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 a blocker. Yeah, new line of study and copycat. You have someone else here trying to be like you as well, a copycat with researching things of the occult. I mean, you got some people here, <laughs> yeah, because you are the muse, you're an inspiration to someone. Um, you're relaxing, clearing your mind. There is somebody here wanting to be like you. Somebody you blocked, I feel, also. They're so confused, though. They don't understand. They don't understand because they're not doing, they're trying to read or take a shortcut. You can't understand um, leveling up if you're not willing to do the inner work. It's not something you read about or just talk about. There's a lot of work involved. Inner work. Okay, let's see what else is happening here. shuffle so you got some haters but you're in a you're in a good energy just keep doing what you're doing there's one specific here though uh, it seems like they're obsessed yeah new direction it's a whole new world for you okay you moved away from whoever this is destiny is playing a big role here spirit influence aren't you lucky so there you go you're listening to the angel numbers. You're listening to your own destiny. You're, I feel you're on your life purpose, life path, and you're just moving forward. Somebody here wants to blackmail you, though. I don't know what that's about. They're going to be jumping to conclusions. Talk is cheap. It's time for some action. Okay. With hidden truth, you're hiding from your true self. So if you were hiding from your true self in the past, 
Some of you went through therapy. Some of you, you know, you went through an awakening and you knew that talk was cheap and you had to move forward. Okay, for some of you that are single and you're crushing on someone that's mirroring your energy and has romantic thoughts about you as well, um, they could be going through therapy and trying to open up to you and come towards you talk, with talk is cheap here. And others of you, you also have like a karmic energy um, seeking for your advice, um, maybe perhaps trying to get out of karmic cycle. Yeah, be patient with yourself, healing the heart chakra. So I feel like you and this person that have a romantic feelings towards one another that you're anticipating and hoping to meet, um, you're both still healing or one of you are still healing. Yeah. Spirit is telling this person in order for them to start and go in a new direction, whoever this karmic is, um, they need to do shadow work. This can feel daunting, but you will get through this. And also, this is exactly what you you took upon yourself to do. So even if you were in a karmic energy before, you decided to take it upon yourself to do the work. Again, you did the shadow work, and you went through a new direction. That's why you're sitting in this beautiful high energy. There are no shortcuts. Time for rest and rejuvenation. Take it easy. So, you know, you had to take a rest. You had to, you know, you were going through a major change in your life. Dark night of the soul ain't pretty. <laughs> and it ain't fun. Okay. In my heart, there's only you thinking of you. With talk is cheap. So somebody that has deeper feelings for you is thinking about you. But they could be going through therapy here. They, they do see the Ten of Cups. And there you go. That's exactly what you want. Mutual unconditional love. And somebody's mirroring back that energy. They admire you. Okay. It could be somebody you work with for some of you. but Or somebody that wants to work with you or you want to work with. Um, but yeah. That's what's coming into your life. You're still single. So I don't see that person in your energy yet. Because I feel like that person is going through um, some changes that could also be the person, you know, leveling up from being in that karmic energy, going through karmic cycles, and becoming um, more, uh, you know, a better person. That could be the person that wants to talk to you or wants to, you know, wants your advice as well. Drinking from the same love potion. Can you feel the love tonight? Yeah, there's definitely somebody here for you. Opportunities will be knocking soon. Get ready. Could be work opportunities as well, love opportunities. Somebody here is addicted to your essence. Their friends think you're hot. They tell me they should go for it. Okay. I do feel like there is somebody here addicted to your essence. Um, but I don't feel like they ever... They want to have sex with you really bad. I don't think they ever um, got to that. Divine timing. No need to worry. Things are running smoothly. Go with the flow. There you go. So in divine timing, you will meet this romantic partner that is crushing on you. You're crushing on them. You know, be able to engage with one another, talk about things, get to know each other, however that works for you guys. Yeah, I'm attracted to your mind, body, soul, and heart. And definitely a lot of fake friends, haters, gossip. Keep doing you. You're doing something right. Exactly. You're doing something right. Yeah, we got some fallen angels here that, yeah, they could be um, some fake friends and haters, best lover hands down, fallen angel. Somebody here does love you unconditionally, even if they never showed it. Um, this definitely right here, there's a fallen angel here. They could be a good lover because they're, they're always having sex, toxic sex. Um, but that's not the kind of sex you want. You don't want that dirty D. Okay? That's a dirty D if I've ever seen one. Or dirty V, however that resonates for you. Um, what else? I think that's it for this one. Alright. Alright, I'm going to get into the high-level soulmate next. 
all right so that could be the new love that you're looking at here you know it could transpire that way for some of you so if that's the case I would look at that but it could be you know entirely different energy um, but we're gonna get into that and see what's going on there all right so let me know in the comments if anybody resonates and I'll see you guys on the flip side bye bye hello guys all right so for those of you who are either dealing with a high level soulmate this could be new love or someone that has become a high level soulmate let's see let's see what's going on with this high level soulmate I keep getting um, that song I think it's Mary J Blosh real love I'm searching for a real love someone said my heart with real love Oh, I'm searching for a real love. So, awakened relationship. That is a high level soulmate. So, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. I like the sound of that. Let's stick with that spirit and awakened relationship. Let's do one more shuffle. Yeah, no beginnings. New relationship. All right. I like it. Let's make it good. Make it last forever and ever. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's do that again. How did I feel? I felt that energy before I shuffled. I said, if it doesn't feel right, I'm going to shuffle it. And that was not the right card. I wonder why that happened. Hmm interesting so for some of you this could have could have been someone that was shallow in the past um, but I saw new beginnings new relationship so let's get spirit let's just talk about the high level soulmate here don't bring in any low vibration here let's see if it comes out again then it, it's meant to be there so there could be something spirits trying to relay so let's see. It's weird how I knew that would happen. I mean, you know. One more shuffle. But there is a reason for that, so. I was thinking about a moment. I, I did a reading, uh, this was, I think, last year, probably around this time or earlier, where I took out a card because I was trying to do a specific reading, and I said, no, I don't want to talk about that. And somebody in the comments was like, S you know, stop trying to manipulate the energy. And it wasn't that, it's just something that I didn't want in that specific reading. I didn't want to talk about that. And it's almost like it just happened again. High-level soulmate let's you know hone in here on this energy spirit and sometimes you get residual energy from other readings so let's see what we got I'm gonna leave it let it be right now so we have a lesson here yeah so that's what it was some of you learned a lesson from somebody that was shallow okay so lesson learned and now there's a high level soulmate here or you have become the high level soulmate but let's see yeah return to sender so somebody here might have learned a big lesson because they went up against you and they returned you returned it to sender so for some of you this is all about you raising your vibration and becoming a high level soulmate but let's see for some of you this high level soulmate was learning a lesson 
before they come into your life, yeah, they're going through an awakening. I do want to get it from this person's perspective, so they could have just learned the lesson and they were dealing with a shallow person. Yeah, cold. Someone that was cold um, and they're awakening to this. So if this is a high-level soulmate coming into your life, it is an awakened relationship. Remember, we did see that when I split the deck. So this person is coming into your life um, after this lesson and an awakening. So there is a period here of um, before they w walk into your life. So somebody was against this person. Yeah, they rejected whoever that person was. I don't know why I keep getting these out. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to, but somebody got rejected. Yeah, they're highly intuitive. One of a kind love. Yeah. And passionate. With high vibration. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. So Spirit wanted you to know that this person was coming out of something rough, but they're going through an awakening and raising their vibration. This is someone you're going to meet. Um, so let's see here. So this will be new love. All right. Let's see. Now I see what that happened. See, there's always a reason. So there will be a lot of passion between you and this high-level soulmate. And that you're both going to be awakened. So it's an awakened relationship. Oh, that's such a relief, you know. Because who the hell wants to deal with a low vibration? You know, that those are the, the headaches. Especially when you, you know, you've raised your vibration you're done with that. One more shuffle. Those headaches are a dime a dozen, right? <laughs> we don't want none of that. <laughs> All right. We have nature. Friendships with animals, communication with nature, and spirits. They are highly intuitive. This could be something that um, you'll notice with them, that they love to be outdoors, they love to connect with nature, and they love animals. So they could have different types of animals. They could have one specific animal that they connect with, but they do have an energy of connecting with animals. All right. And I'll take the light attribute on that. And yeah, they were dealing with a trickster. Okay. Transcending convention, uh, stuffiness, and predictable behavior. Clearly they were dealing with a trickster because Lesson was here and Chalo was the first card that came out. So manipulating others through duplicity. So they were being manipulated. So it was a lesson for them to raise their vibration and go through an awakening. So whoever this high level soulmate is that has yet to come into your life, um, they were going through it. But um, the person was the catalyst to put them on their awakening journey. Yeah, we have a prince. Okay. So this person is romantic, it says romantic charm and, for, and potential for power, especially after this awakening, absolutely. All right. I like it. So this is a, a, a good soul right here. Let's see, let's get into this energy. Yeah, I think that that's probably the second time that I've taken out a card when it came out because I usually don't do that. But Spirit just told me it was, you know, obviously there was a reason for it. Okay, yeah, Five of Swords with the lesson. So this person could have dealt with someone that was quite um, <sighs> jealous. Um, you know, controlling, 
uh, manipulative. We have to have that here. Definitely a trickster here. And, you know, take it how it resonates, guys. If you feel like you're the high-level soulmate and you went through something like this. But I feel like this is someone new coming into your life with that mutual awakened relationship coming out. And uh, they went through it. Okay, so they're kind of licking their wounds right now and and um, going through the motions. They dealt with someone that was cold. They were always arguing, you know, wanting to win at all costs, very cutting, cutthroat energy, jealous, you know, always seeing their partners as competition. You know, we had the Hierophant. Um, Hierophant with return to sender. Somebody here could have been using some dark things. I, I usually don't really see the Hierophant like that. So this is someone that could portray to be um, religious or, you know, put on a good face. But in the background, they're doing spell work. Okay. You know, the person they were dealing with. Okay. Yeah, Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Yeah, this person is stressed. Okay. They were definitely wounded. They're probably trying to, you know, just lick their wounds, going through an awakening, doing a lot of research here. There's a lot of writing here. This person, um, you know, they're, they're kind of down in the dumps right now. I feel this person is finally saying, you know, I'm not going to play the victim anymore. And I'm going to, you know, get out of here and lesson learned and go through an awakening. So they are going through some tough times. This is the kind of person that could be definitely very distant from a lot of people around them at this time because of this energy they're in. When you go through an awakening, you know, God kind of pulls you away from everyone. And you, you, you know, you kind of suffer in, in silence in your own room and as you're, you know, going through that metamorphosis stage. So that's what I'm seeing here for this person. Yeah, sleepless nights. Anxiety. Thinking about, you know, everything that this person... I feel like this person was really cold, Five of Swords, how they attacked, you know, every every single thought that this person has told this person to have them in this energy of sleepless nights and anxiety. There could have been a lot of mental abuse here. Yeah, this could have been a marriage for sure. Or, you know, a long-term commitment. But I do see the Hierophant with the Four of Wands. Yeah, there's the lesson and moving forward. Wanting to move forward to calmer waters. And you see the snake behind him here. Okay, so this person could still be trying to... And it's it, because they're doing spell work. They could be still trying to um, trip this person up. Yeah, the sun with awakening. Yes. So this person is having more clarity, uh, definitely more joy and happiness in their life now that they're away from this person. We have the star, <clears throat> healing, and of course sleepless nights, needing to purify their energy here. Definitely enlightenment, okay. There's a beautiful connection. Um, that is fated to come in. It's a new day. It's a, it's calmer waters where there's going to be happiness, joy. This person is returning back to self as well with this awakening and something more stable. Stable grounds. Yeah. Yeah, they could definitely have family with that person. Okay. They thought that that was going to be their ten of cups, but that's like, you know, with the lesson here. Now, so this person, um, just know that they have an ex 
that could potentially create issues here or they'll just be talking shit in the background hating from a distance um, but this could be what's coming but for some of you they were married and they have children with this person yeah he's the Pentacles moving forward I also see a, a, a proposal in the future here. This could be someone you will marry, this high level soulmate, because it is a mutual awakened relationship. So, and it's a happier type of connection, a connection that has gone through some healing and purification. Yeah, Two of Swords. This is, you know, the veil being lifted with the sun and awakening here things they couldn't see before allowing themselves to make decisions that they couldn't make before perhaps because they just they couldn't see um, or they weren't in that specific moment to make the choice to move on from this person we have the king of pentacles that keeps coming out um, yeah this person is making a decision on when they're gonna you know make this some sort of offer to you as well but they're going through you know the awakening process there's definitely somebody that commits somebody stable somebody that works hard somebody here could be in the public eye also with the star and the king of Pentacles they could do something that has to do with the public eye um, they could just be you know popular it could be anywhere it doesn't have to be like public eye like celebrity although for some of you it might but it could just be you know popular on TikTok, popular on YouTube you know Instagram social media or you know something like that they could have a lot of friends friends how many of us have the friends yeah they could have been in a very lustful connection as well with the king of wands here and you know that was a hard lesson that's really what I'm picking up there all right seven of swords yeah somebody definitely could have stole from this person they could have been with a gold digger here okay because this person looks like they're a giver um, and with the ace of Pentacles here and the seven of Pentacles somebody was trying to betray and, and steal from this person they were definitely lying to this person yeah page of cups yeah this person definitely has a crush on you they like you they like what they see you know they want to I feel like this person would nurture you, take care of you, you know, just like they, you know, you would do when you take a fish home for the first time, okay? You admire it, you want to feed it, you want to take care of it. It makes him happy, okay? So somebody's making a decision on when they're going to reach out to you as well. Yeah, they're definitely healing with the Three of Swords and the Star here. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, um, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus, double Taurus here. We also have Aries and Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck. Ooh, yeah, they see you as a wife for sure. The Empress. So you could be a Divine Feminine meeting a high-level soulmate, okay? Um, but for some of you, they just see you, they see you as a wife, they admire you. All right. They could feel like you have a lot of admirers. Um, they also see you as someone that is successful in your life. Okay, like you're sitting pretty. They could admire your style, the way you carry yourself. 
Yeah, they want to flirt with you. You might inspire this person, because I see writing here and writing over here. So you might inspire this person to write. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups with the High Priestess. You're extremely nurturing, extremely intuitive with the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess. Um, some of you could divinate. Yeah, you could be in hermit mode a lot. Some of you work from home. You could be a Virgo here as well. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Um, Libra or Taurus again here. Leo. Um, but yeah, I see that you, you could be very creative as well. Yeah, you're definitely highly awakened already. Okay, with the High Priestess here and the Queen of Cups. And, you know, the the um, the Hermit card is uh, someone with a lot of wisdom. Someone that looks for the, the right answers. Alright, let's see. Let's get into Lover's Lane Oracle. Crushing on you. Let's see what else here. Wow, they were dealing with somebody really harsh. I'm open-minded and open to learning new things. There you go, with the King of Wands here. Very good. This person is very ambitious. They could be very attractive. Um, and very passionate. Okay, this is a kind of this is a go getter. They go after what they want. So you can definitely expect this person to show up for you um, when they're ready, of course. And they've gone through this healing and awakening. I tend to get in my head at times. Definitely, I see that. Um, they could be afraid because of what they went through that they'll be in another situation like they were in. Okay. Or, you know, they just, they get in their head. They could have had certain beliefs that they had to break free from also. You know, I am seeing awakening, obviously, with returning back to self. And, you know, they could have been in their head about things that they maybe they didn't perceive before. It's like they're changing their perspective here. I love looking at your picture, so they are looking at you online with the Page of Cups, so they do like you. They see you. Someone you can trust. So they are someone you can trust, but they're healing. Definitely, I mean, high level soulmate, of course, yes. You occupy my thoughts more than I care to admit. Mm -hmm. All right. If you only knew how long I've been crushing on you. Okay. So this person was crushing on you even while they were in this situation. They were looking at you online. I hope you are ready to be showered with love and affection. I told you they want to take care of you. Aww. Just like that little fish there. <laughs> That's too cute. I love it. And they're ambitious and creative. Absolutely. So. I feel like they have their own gifts that they, um, they could have their own business. For some of you or they have a side hustle they are very ambitious this person has the energy of being a leader as well I need to surpass this fear yeah but you know they, they need to take some time just to heal 
but they they are I guess they do have um, fear of reaching out you inspire them yeah you guys you got you know who this is completely into each other it's about love for me not appearances so this is very good the kind of person that you know they they have to feel a connection with someone it's not just about looks and you know that could have been a hard lesson here I can't wait to take you out on a romantic date. I wonder if your heart skips a beat like mine does for you. And I'm getting things in order. Definitely. And you're a little slice of heaven. And they do work hard. I can definitely see that. I work hard, but I always make room for what's important to me. And you awaken many things within them. They want to take you somewhere where you guys can make incredible memories. And they are an exclusive kind of man or woman. And they know they need to reach out. You got them shook. And they do want to taste those lips. And they love your simplicity. And they do feel deeply connected to you. And they want to be seduced by you. Okay. <laughs> I could go on and on. But uh, let's stop right there. So this is uh, two people that understand that there is a connection here. Okay. Um, but they're going through an awakening. So it's a mutual awakened relationship. I like, I like the way you really turn me on. Let's see, what else would they like to say here? Message. They do, they want to message you. Yeah, they want to go for it. Yes, they are single. They're just in the healing process. And yeah, there was an ex-wife here, ex-husband. So take it how it resonates. And yeah, they want to make a move. All right. I mean, do we need to say more? This person does want to be with you so this is someone coming into your life you already know about this person You're, you already know of this person um, anything else here spirit about this high level soulmate yeah somebody here does envy so their ex could know about this or they're just envious in general about anybody um, it says there is someone in their lives who is jealous and envious of you and is trying to do everything in their power to see you fall and the connection fail but they're already divorced so there's really nothing they can do they can be cry all they want to and be jealous all they want to and yell if they would have had the right energy they probably would have stayed with them yeah we have seduced they are the king of wands darling or you know king of pentacles this could be um, elements in their chart or it could be different for all of you but this person will make you feel like they've placed you under a trance you will heavily feel their sexual energy pulling you in Ooh. so you feel this person they are a high level soulmate darling so so they're very seductive, very attractive. That's for somebody here. You got your hands full with this one. But they're just for you. Nobody else. Yeah, they could have dealt with a gaslighter, is what I'm seeing. Um, the person they were with will constantly question you. They will make you feel like you're in the in the wrong when in fact they are the ones guilty of what it 
what it is they are accusing you of. Yeah, that's the kind of connection they had, clearly. Yeah, they were com in their comfort zone, is what I see here. They will make you feel perfectly at home or at ease when you are with them and allow you to feel, okay, this is how they'll make you feel. So they will make you feel perfectly at ease when you are with them and allow you to feel safe enough to drop your walls and release your inhibitions. So this connection will be very, very comfortable, comforting. Um, I can see it here with the Page of Cups. This person loves hard, they love deeply, and they're fair and just. And we have PDA. They feel a sense of pride when they have you on their arm. They want to show you off to the world. Uh huh. That's awesome. Yeah, like when you get a little fish here. Oh, you want to see my new fish? <laughs> you know, not that you're a fish, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> this is a good person. Yeah, I just split it and look, purity. Their heart is gold and their intentions are pure. You don't have to question their motives when it comes to you. Aw. That's a good read. I like it. I like it. That's a good person for you guys. High level soulmate. Yes, yes, please. <laughs> um, very good energy. They got hurt, you know. But very, very good energy here. All right, guys. I think that's it. That's what I got. This was pretty, pretty cut and dry here. What this person wants. They're just going through an, an awakening and healing process. But you know of this person, apparently, and they know of you. So, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates. Did I look at the bottom here? Oh yeah, highly intuitive. So this person is very highly intuitive. Of course, they're going through an awakening as well. So, you guys, I mean, beautiful couple. I just see a lot of loving energy comfortability between the two of you unconditional love um i mean ten of cups ace of pentacles it's just a matter of they're still going through this awakening seeing things um for what they are here before they make a decision and there's some fear okay but that is the process of all this healing as well all right guys i wish you the best and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.